sadly, it was reported a few hours ago and it has now been confirmed that Kevin Samuels passed away from a quote, accidental death in his apartment in Atlanta last night, which is honestly so sad and so unexpected. And people are literally celebrating his death. <laughs> And if you aren't familiar with Kevin, he pretty much gave people relationship advice on YouTube, but he was very unfiltered and controversial, which is what made him so popular, really. How much do you weigh? That's none of your business. I told you I was fat. Oh, okay. We don't play that shit on my channel. You get your big fat ass on somewhere then. I don't deal with you big sassy ass broads. And because of that, people all over social media are celebrating his death, which is just disgusting. Just listen to some of the stuff people are saying. So, I'm scrolling through TikTok and come across a post that Kevin Samuels might be dead. Hmm. I think life gives you the same energy you give it. Okay, so let's break down your logic for a minute. Kevin Samuels had some bad takes in your mind about relationships on the internet, so that means he deserves to die? This woman legitimately sounds insane. Kevin Samuels is not Hitler. He wasn't some terrible, evil person. It's okay to disagree with someone and even, you know, dislike them strongly, but unless he's like a murderer or some, you know, terrible person, how can you actually think he deserves to die just because because he had some bad opinions. So, with that being said, ding dong, the Wicked Witch is dead. I don't know him personally, really don't give a fuck. Didn't follow him because I didn't like the way he talked to women, talk about women, or his point of view about women, for him to be married twice. Such an expert on women. But now we ain't got to worry about that and got to hear him no more. Oh well. If you didn't like what he had to say, pretty much all platforms have this cool thing called a block or mute button where you can choose to not see someone's content. I feel like there was a much more simple solution than literally waiting for him to die and being happy about it. Like, what is wrong with you? Now, here's some terrible comments that people are leaving under posts about his passing. God's timing is always right. Well, on to the next story. I have no energy for him. Now he can be judged the same way he judged judged all these beautiful black queens. Good riddance. He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Hallelujah. I think these people must be forgetting that this was a real man with a family and friends and maybe even kids. It's just disgusting and I have no respect for these people at all. With that being said, I think that's where I'm going to wrap up this one. Obviously, rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. Hopefully, his family is you know, avoiding the internet and not reading all these terrible things people are saying. But with that being being said, make sure to click on one of the videos that are on the screen right now. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.